my dear sisters and brothers in christ jesus happy sunday welcome to our daily bread on the 23rd sunday in ordinary time in today's gospel of luke chapter 14 we see jesus asking us to leave our spouse father mother siblings children friends to follow him only the usage of the word hate might not be the ref- correct reflection or even the correct translation from the original Hebrew word which meant preference. The first commandment is highlighted here. Seek thee first the kingdom of God and everything else with no reservation. Yes, exactly. Everything else will be given to us, says the Lord God, and he does not go back on his promise. We need to renounce what is worldly to what we have given first place today. Our job, education, pride, title, amassing wealth, luxury, cars, motorcycle, jewelry, friend, beauty, spouse, any individual obsessions, fear, anxiety, vengeance. Let us build our lives on the foundation stone of Jesus and love Abba Father with all our heart, all our might, and all our strength. Let's listen to the Gospel. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, any one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Word of God. Thanks be to our Lord Jesus Christ.